Bags you hate, but I love. Let's go. Hi guys and welcome back on this YouTube channel. I'm very excited to see you here uh, for this new amazing video. If you don't know me yet, my name is Margot alias Margot Valux. I'm 27, no, I'm not 27 years old anymore. I'm 28 years old uh, now, so I'm very excited. I'm filming this video just a little bit before New York because the moment you see this video, I'm gonna be in New York. Well, I'm gonna be on my way back from New York, but next videos I'm gonna release are going to be vlogs. So I'm super excited because you're gonna love this type of video, I really hope so, at least. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty excited. And today's video is not New York. It's all the bags you hate that I love. So let's go. Also, uh, I created my own company where I sell bags and accessories, bamluxurystore.com. I'm going to put the link in the description of this video and we ship worldwide, so do not hesitate to have a look on the website. We drop new bags every Wednesday. Anyway, let's get started with this list. I have my phone just here and I have a list of the bags I really love, but that you really hate actually. So we're gonna start with the first one and this is from Louis Vuitton. I really love the Maison Louis Vuitton just because you have very various different style. Uh, you can have a very classic style, a very young style, a completely crazy style. You have every type of bag you have for women, for men, for child now. So I'm very excited because the collection is pretty cute. You have also the house, the house collection. You have like more artistic collection, travel collection, and you also have like an animal collection like for dogs. So this is actually pretty cute. So we're gonna start with the first handbag that you probably hate, but I, I love. It's not necessarily that you're gonna hate the bag, uh, the bags I'm going to show you, but you probably don't like them. And in the majority, I ask to my friends, boyfriend, and to other people, and they say in the majority that they don't like this kind of bags. So this is why I'm showing you this. So this is the um, twist bag with the top handle, B BB size, and this is the Emerald it's a green one and the price is 3500 and i really like this bag i really like the color of this bag and this is also why you probably don't like this bag because of the color this is what my friends told me but i really like the fact that it's a very structured bag with a very mini top handle and i like the mini size yeah what i like but the price yes is kind of expensive another one the second one i wanted to show you and this is for me so far the most beautiful one on the bags I'm going to show you. For me, it's the best one. This is the Capucine mini size one from Louis Vuitton always. And look at this color. I'm going to put like the photos always here that you can see what I'm talking about, which bag I'm talking about. And this bag is just insane. First, I like this collection. The Capucine's bags are beautiful, are gorgeous bags. This is like very high quality bags from Louis Vuitton. And especially like they make usually uh, capucines very collector bags because they have like the classic ones with the classic colors but usually they make like collaboration with artists or they create like kind of different bags different colors different materials and on this one i have a photo just here on this one what i like is the color it's kind of a very blue green very pale and the top the top handle is just insane and the logo too are i love everything about this bag this is a bag i really 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 want actually the price is a bit high it's like five five thousand four hundred but i think it's worth it still because this is such a nice bag i love the inside also of a bag i love everything actually this is gorgeous another one from the capucine collection is the new one it's a mini one also and it's the yellow one uh with the new strap i think it's too cute. I don't know what you're thinking about. Maybe you're, you're gonna like more this one, but the color usually doesn't please well the people, but I really like this one. You have so different, many other colors, but I like the fact also you have like a chain like this. It's changing a little, it's more young, and I don't know, it's not as classic as it is normally. So this is why I also like this kind of bag. I know like yellow bags are, I don't know, you. My, most of the people doesn't really like the yellow bags, but this is going to be super trendy this year, so why not? Then we're gonna go for another Maison and I'm gonna go for Dior. I love Lady Dior bag and this one is a mini Lady Dior, but if this is a very special collector one, I'm gonna put the photo here. I really like, either I like very classic bag, either I like very completely different bags, like very authentic collector bag, like very different. 
And this is what I like about this one. This one is 6,000 euro just because it's very uh, handmade bag. It's also very uh, different. This is something you cannot buy directly. This is a very collector bag. You're not gonna find this one everywhere if it's not a classic Lady Dior. And this one is called Dior Jardin d'Hiver in French. And I don't know, I like the thought of it. It has like little purge. It's very worked. Like you see, it's an art. Then we're gonna go for the Prada house, the Maison Prada. This is not bags I usually buy and wear, but I found some of them that you're gonna probably gonna like them, but I really like them. The first one is a tote from Prada. This is a white one and inside in black. The price is 2,500 euro. I really like this one because this is very simple at once, but also very trendy. This might be very, you're probably gonna like this one because it's very simple. Actually, it's not that bad, but still, uh, I don't know. I really like this one. Actually, this is very nice and the grain lever makes it even more uh, nice. I have a picotin from Hermes and it kind of uh, looks like this too. So this is not that different. And this is why also I like this kind of bag. Okay, now one I think you're not gonna like, but I like it actually in the end. I usually don't like crystal bag, but I don't know, this one is cute actually. Still at Prada, this is the mini bag satin with satin with crystal and this one is 2,600 euro but I don't know I really I usually don't like this kind of bag but this one is like mini very cute and at night it can be very nice on a, night, on a party outfit I don't party a lot actually I have to say but during the day on a very classic look for example a jean blue shirt white t-shirt it can actually like make make the outfit like the bag could like make the whole outfit and it can be like a whole vibe I, I don't know, I like it. Another one, you might like this one, and at first I don't like this kind of bag. This is the Raffia small bag from Prada. I really hate Raffia bag usually, but this one is nice actually. I, I don't know, I like the big logo. Usually I don't like the big logo on the bags, but I kind of like this one. This is like very nice for going to the beach. Now I live in Barcelona, so it's very close to beaches and might be very stylish actually <laughs> in the end, but definitely not a good investment, guys. Okay, another bag I like are the Gucci bags. And most of all, like the mini bamboo bag. I like this. I'm gonna put the photo here. I like the white one and the blue one. I'm gonna put like the two photos here uh, that you can see what bag I'm talking, I'm referring to. And these kind of bags are pretty cute actually. It's a bamboo 1947. They are worth 3,200 euro. And I like that they're, very, they're like very classical, but you have the bamboo top and all. This is so different from other bags. This is very specific to Gucci and this is what I like. And usually this is what what people really hate about the Gucci bags is the bamboo uh, part, which is like part of the very vintage collection and I like it. What else? Still at Gucci, I really like the Jackie 1961 in white, smooth flavor, very simple. You might love this one actually, but I love it. I love it, I love it. I love everything about this bag, except maybe the price, 2,500, but now it's like classic price. I don't know, I might go for this one to vintage into second hand because I think it's retail price are not very interesting on this brand. So I might go to second hand for this ones. Okay, one bag you're gonna hate a lot, I think, <laughs> but this is such a crazy bag, but I also like it because this is like very different bag, very collector also. And this is with Saint Laurent. I usually don't like Saint Laurent bags because the quality of the bags for me is not here, but maybe not on every bags, but a one I like here, this is the model the bag Perfer, the small one, and it's in kilted and it's collaboration with Terry Clough. I'm gonna show you the picture just here. This is very, very, very specific guys and it's worth 2,500 euros. But I don't know, I kind of really like this one. <laughs> this is a very funny bag and I think it, may, it can be nice in a collection like for spring, summer, maybe not for winter. I, okay, we're gonna go now for Chanel. <laughs> A bag you probably won't like. This is a mini Gabrielle. This is such an, under, an underrated bag. I don't know why people doesn't buy that much this kind of bag and even Chanel does not promote that much this bag. I don't even know if they sell it anymore or not, but this is such a nice bag and this is a mini one in green. I saw this one when I was in London in the store. They still had one. It was like one year and a half before. Yeah, almost one year ago. I saw it and I was like, Oh my gosh, 
it was amazing. Like the green is so powerful. And this one was sold not that bad actually, 3,373 euro on Vestia Collective in 2022, so last year, 1st of September. So it was like almost a brand new one. It was from the collection I was talking about. I was in London in August, 2022, so kind of related to it. It was not that expensive because they increased yet the price, but I love this one. I really hope I can find this one, exact same one one day. Yeah, because I don't know, it's very more, it's less classic than the classic flap, but it's still very cute and the green is just, I don't know what I have with green bags these days, but I love them. Like I just had this one. This is the Chanel Boy Mini Velvet in Green Emerald. And this one, I was looking for this bag for three years now and I finally got it. I finally found it. So if you are looking for something and you cannot find it, just ask me sometimes I can find you some specific bag. I don't have, usually don't give me a deadline because for this one, I waited for three years to have it like good condition first and good price. <laughs> okay, another one I'm not sure you're gonna like, uh, but I really like and forever. This is a Celine Trapez bag. Actually, this is a bag I think it's so fancy, like so like, this is a woman bag for the perfect woman bag for an everyday. I sold one. I don't know if it's sold yet or not. I really hope it's sold because it was supposed to release like a few weeks ago. I really hope it's sold because this bag was amazing. Uh, I think I have a photo here and I'm gonna link the product in description on my website because I recall you like, I sell luxury bags and accessories and I sold like this one, the Trapez one and the color was just amazing and the condition was gorgeous. Anyway, I really like this bag actually because for me it's the bag for the woman. I love this bag forever. I was, I remember when this bag was so trendy. I was very young actually. I think I was in college, not in college for US, but college for France is like uh, high school. I was in high school. I remember this bag was being so trendy and I was like, oh, I really hope one day I can buy it. And it still is actually. This is a very classic one. It's like the luggage from Celine. This is Classic. Speaking of Celine, we are gonna go with the Triumph bag. I know you love this one, but with the color Poland, this is a yellow, pale yellow, and this is why I like this one. This is 3,000 euro. I'm gonna give you the price in euro. I don't know how much they are in the USA. Uh, you can go on the websites of the brands. I'm gonna link the products I'm talking about in the description of this video. And I will also try to find them in second hand on Vestiaire Collective. You will have every link below the video. So don't hesitate if you find like you like the bag I'm talking about. I will try to find you the link uh, for second hand, so better price. And I will link the price, the um, retail price, of course, so you can buy directly on the website. Okay, another bags I like are the Fendi ones. And speaking of the Fendi, I like the Fendi first in small. You can wear it by hand or you can wear it with a strap. This is kind of a new one. They, they released like two years ago. Yeah, I think two years ago. I really love the one for winter with lots of, um, uh, as I call like moomoots. It's like very, I, I don't know how to say it, like very comfy, more for winter. I love this one in fabric, but this one also in leather is very fancy. And the price is 2,500. I know lots of people doesn't really like this bag actually, because it's very like the F of Fendi. But I don't know, I'm so fan of this bag. Like it's been two years. I've seen it first on Lonely Ain, I think it was like two years ago. And since then I'm in love with this bag. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Another one, obviously you love this bag. It's a baguette one from Fendi. But the one that I love, I'm not sure you're gonna like. It's more like the Sex and the City ones. I don't know if you saw the movies and the, um, the series, but I really like the second one in turquoise here, blue turquoise and pale uh pink i'm not a pink person i have to admit but this one pink pale is not that bad so this is really bags i love this is 3800 euros this is kind of expensive for a second bag second bag are not a very good investment i have to admit you're not gonna sell the bags more expensive but these are very trendy bag and this can be very nice to wear i actually like this <laughs> this is very different this is completely crazy bags. And this is what I like about these bags. And it remembers me like Sex and the City's bag. So yeah, 
she had it, I think, in violet, violet, and they sell it in violet, actually. This is, again, here. And last one you probably don't like, but I like. This is with Bodega Veneta. This is the first time I think I'm talking about Bodega Veneta here. But this is a mini bag sardine. So sardine is a, this is a kind of fish in France. And, well, I per, you probably have sardine in your own country, I guess. Because they call this bag like this, because the top and all is kind of a sardine, <laughs> kind of look like. I don't know, I really like this bag. It's 2,500 euro and I like it in white more than in black. I'm gonna put the follow here. I don't know if you're gonna like it, but this is so chic. It's very, very effortless chic. This is what I think. You have the top handle, you have the strap also if you want to wear it like in bandoliere. I don't know, I really like this bag. You're probably not gonna like this bag because of the top handle, but, and the size because it's very mini. I don't know, I really like this one more even than the Jody one, I think. Because the Jody one, we've seen it, we've seen it everywhere and I'm kind of tired of it. Voila for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this. Don't hesitate to comment this video to tell me what you loved, what you hated, why, and I'd be very happy to know what you, what you hate and what are your type of bags and that probably most people don't like, that, but that you like. And I'll see you probably Wednesday for a video where I'll sell bags and accessories. See you soon. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, and to comment. And bisous.